Fairfax County has 500 vehicles in the system and over 1,300 users registered. So we chose Fleet Commander because the product was seamless. We liked the screens that were available as well as the key management option with the kiosk. It seemed to fit all of our needs the best. Your system is basically like an industry standard. After you know going through and testing these various other platforms, Agile just was you know above and beyond of the other systems. So our prior system was very cumbersome required a lot of paperwork, a lot of staff interaction. Employees were required to come up to our office to um, check out a vehicle. There was significant key management issues, and so we wanted to streamline it to be more modern and require less hands-on from our staff. I think just by the ease of use, by our various agencies being able to use one centralized kiosk, they're being able to do everything independently versus having to come to a DVS employee or come to our office. With the previous company, I would have to manually create reservations and literally hand out the keys to each driver and then receive them at the end of the day or every Monday I would have to visit security to get the key box and check the vehicles in. So this new system makes it easier for me. It takes a lot of pressure off because the users are able to check the keys in and out of the kiosk. It just makes it much easier for all agencies as well as our staff. So we had um, a smooth implementation and great support from Agile. They understood our needs. They met with us in advance um, to go through all of our requirements. Setting up a new driver takes about five to 10 minutes. So once we have new drivers, we set up a profile in the system. I set up their profile, give them access to their groups. They have access to their vehicles and Navia just walks them through how to rent the vehicle. Someone registering a user I would explain the process of them having access to two kiosks. I would let them know the location of the kiosk, where the vehicles are located. We have electric vehicles for all of our standard users. I would show them how to take the proxy card and keys out of that kiosk and to actually take a picture of the screen before they checked out the keys to match it in with the, um, the odometer in the vehicle. The Board of Supervisors has directed all new purchases to be electric only. Fleet Commander helps us track the electric vehicles. We can see if employees are selecting the electric vehicle and then inquire with them if they chose not to. We can also track the mileage better using the GPS in the electric vehicle, which otherwise there's not a daily, weekly, or monthly way to track the usage of the electric vehicles. You know, Marguerite and her team has a lot of reporting to do, and it just helps with that reporting. It just makes it that much easier. We can pull a variety of reports, both on the entire fleet, department fleets, as well as um, individual types of units. Um, we'll be definitely onboarding more agencies. We have several more agencies we that have interest in using Fleet Commander. In long term, we want to get all of our agencies in the Fleet Commander system. So many departments have vehicles that are assigned to their department that they share within their department and they're responsible for the management of those. We want to include those in the Agile system so that we at a higher level can see their usage and trends and work with them to um, gain more efficiencies.